Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nat Nader, and welcome to the Dead Linger Alpha Build 009C. So we're in the world, a world which has been corrupted by zombies, and everyone is dead, except for me and my friend Damon the Human. Hey yo! <laughs> Alright, so this is, as I said, pre-alpha, pretty early game. I reckon this is going to be an awesome game though, and today we're just going to teach you how to survive your first day in the barren zombie wasteland. Although it's procedurally generated, so what you see will not be what I see. Although what you see will be zombies. Ah. Ow, fuck. That wasn't very nice. Okay, Ooh. so we've got a little um, three-way going on here, which we might want to get out of. Stay back. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> All right, so pretty much you'll be in the world. You will have nothing in your inventory. And what you'll be looking to do is to find a town, unless you have already spawned in one. Which would be kind of choice and kind of not. <laughs> so, I've already spotted a town just over that hill over yonder. There's actually a couple of barns in this area, which is quite cool, because they're supposed to be fairly rare. There's also one in the distance over there. And there's a couple of... Um, electrical towers which are running across there and that's quite good in the atmosphere would you not agree Damn yeah no know. definitely I didn't even know they existed <laughs> this is all new to me it's just like this is amazing I'm like oh man <laughs> this towers man it's chipped me out and there's actually a little forest over here maybe we could detour through that before we head off to the town oh yeah I love a walk in the forest with me into the forest. <laughs> oh my. Um, is there anything in the towers? Uh, no actually. So far the towers have just been put in as a, like, just as for the atmosphere, like, you know. Oh. They thought it might have seemed a bit barren elsewise, so they just threw them in there. And they do look nice. Even though oh, they're yeah. not even there yet. We'll be there soon though. Alright, so may as well do some explaining. Uh, you're going to be wanting to find a town, and once you find the town, or if you haven't already spawned in one, you want to be sticking to the outskirts of the town, because with no items, you're not going to want to be dead in the center, or anywhere around there, mind the pun there. You're going <laughs> to want to be <laughs> on the sides, so that uh, you just... Well, you'll only be getting zombies from one side, because we've found that once a zombie's... Uh, gotten like into you once he's smelled your blood and all that shit he's probably not going to give up chasing you for a long time so you're not going to be wanting to run through the whole town and bring the neighborhood of zombies along with you unless you know unless you're into that kind of thing but that will ruin your chances of surviving oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's um we've already got a bit of a crowd out here but you know what? Fuck them. And wouldn't you know? That looks like a telegraph pole over there. Alright, we're coming up on the town. Well, not much of a town, it's just a one man city. Up oh, there we go. Spawning in some buildings. Hey, look! You want the red house or the blue house? Hmm. Red or blue? Make well, the choice. brown. There's a brown. <laughs> There's also a white and, uh, from what looks like a green one as well. I'll go into the blue one. So we've come across a small suburb of towns. I thought of buildings, I mean. I thought it was uh, a bit bigger than that, but you know. And you can see like a whole horde of zombies just hanging around, as it would be. So... Oh. <clears throat> Alright, you with me? Yep. <laughs> what I'm are going you doing over there? Oh, you're going for the oh. red one. Alright, I'll just explain yeah. how we're doing this. Alright, so... The doors open like amnesia, so you can control. Whoa! You can control how they're open and closed. That zombie's derping out right there. Oh fucking Christ! Whoa. Ah, Whoa. Oh holy fuck! Ah. Yeah, this game can be quite scary. I think that guy's a runner. Yeah, he is. All right. Fuck this house. Ah. Fuck this house and everything that's inside of it. <laughs> Get out of it, man! Come to the red yeah. house. This place yeah, is safe. Ah. I'm coming to the red house. I'm the also webbing. dying. So I've well, been bitten a lot. The reason that my screen is all blurry is because I've been kind of infected. 
Holy crap. Oh, didn't take you long, did it? Yeah, no. I, it's ironic that this is a film about surviving, and I'm almost dead already. <laughs> but, you know. So, the, this is the kitchen. Oh, lucky me, I found that. Oh. That looks like oh. a rotten orange. So, I'm not going to pick that up. Oh, fuck. So, you're going to want to climb the stairs. Oh, oh. oh, oh. fuck. Fuck it, fuck. You freaking just shot, and that scared the fuck out of me. Ah. Oh, Get fuck. out of there, man. Damon, I need to climb the stairs, but a zombie was following oh. you, so that's oh, piss. I think I killed it. I killed it. It's dead. Oh, good. Well, I'm going to go oh, to the brown house, because... Alright, you go to the brown fuck house. I'll so deal with the undead Justin Timberlakes. <laughs> oh. oh, no! Ah! I'm going to die. Don't die, Damon. <laughs> I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Ah! Okay, I'm going to lock myself in the bathroom. Right. Oh. I'm crying. Oh. We're safe, finally. <laughs> Let's just pick up all the crap that's in here. What have we got? You know, mentioning hordes earlier on. Yeah. Think, like, um. You got, uh, ten people plus just hanging outside. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, there's one climbing funny. the staircase right now. Jesus Christ. Up on the roof. Up on the roof. Yep, yep. I just it gonna pick up. Oh shit! I punched my shoes into oblivion. Oh wait, there they go. Got him. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so that's tips and tricks number one. You're going to want to break the window and climb out onto the roof because once you're on the roof, the We're zombies safe. cannot get you, and you are 100% safe. So, as you can see, like I said before, the zombies kind of don't give up like in most other games. They're gonna follow you to the ends of the earth and back. So being on the roof is the number one safest place for you right now, which is why I would not advise looting the single story buildings like that one over there, because there's no real safe place to just stop and catch your breath and whatnot. Hey Nadonator. Yes. Can you see me? I'm waving. Oh, hey! See you. Hi all. Hey! I think there's a zombie in the room. What room? Um, oh, your room. Yeah, he's just staring at the wall. Hey, my one's doing that too. Yeah. How uncanny is that? It's, um... Slightly depressing, actually. <laughs> I want to give him a hug. He's just there. He's like, oh, <laughs> you know, man. Go right. for some hard times. Let's come over here and let's go find another freaking building, man. Where we go? Oh, let's go to the blue one on the hill. Yeah, I am. I'm on it right now. Oh, oh sweet fuck. Yeah, we're going to be taking the board with us. Yeah. Oh, I'm running into your horde. <laughs> oh, worry. man. Hopefully they won't uh, get mad at you and they'll just stick on me. Oh, well, I found a pistol, so... Ah, perfect. A little twenty-two, which is alright. As long as you go for the headshots, you're all good. Sweet. The more you know, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. So always remember to uh, check this garage area on the two-story buildings because you never know when you'll find something useful such as the two most useful items in the game at the moment being the hammer and the fire axe and why would that be? pardon me? why would that be? the reason why those are the two most important items in this game right now are because the fire axe can cut down any tree in the game given enough wax on it and it'll turn it into wood well, it already is wood, but I mean planks of wood. Alright, we're back. I apologize for that. Uh, just a little technical error with the game, considering, you know, alpha is alpha. You can't argue with that shit. What's in here? Oh, fuck. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, I got him. No. You got him? <laughs> Man, Ooh, that was a good he shot. got really upset just then. We just jumped in on him while he's in the toilet. <laughs> he's like, shit. Get out of here. Alright, onto the roof. Have something nice to talk about out here. Alright, we're back. Difficulty with the frames, you know. Shit happens. So we're gonna head over to the barn, but just before that, I'll explain that there's this new thing that they put into the game in the latest build, where you can kind of jump off most heights and not take fall damage, where you hit control just before you hit the ground, and you do a front flip. 
So we'll just loot these two buildings before we head on. All right. As we were saying before, the fire axe and the hammer, two most important tools in the game for the reasons of one, for the fire axe, you're going to want to be finding wood just like this in this garage here. You're going to be wanting to find this kind of wood, but it doesn't always spawn where you want it to. So how else do you get the wood? You take the fire axe, you chop down a tree, and you will spawn that kind of wood from the tree that you cut down. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Just after a bit of um, fiddling around with the program, and uh, we're heading over to this barn. And I'll continue what I was saying, that I've, I've been trying to say it for a bit with all these issues, but I think I'll be able to say it now. The fire axe is used for cutting down wood, to be used then with the hammer, in which you'll be able to apply the wood that you've cut down as barricades on buildings with freeform barricading, which is really cool. And we'll get to that later, probably not in this video. So we're getting close to what looks like a weed farm. Did I say weed? I mean corn. <laughs> <laughs> Should be no problems at all though. So we've got ourselves a baseball bat. Um, <clears throat> you'll be wanting to find weapons that will be at least, uh, just say, um, maybe two hit kill, because uh, if you go for a weapon that does any more than that, then you probably won't be able to kill the zombies fast enough before you get hit and turn into a zombie yourself. Which is also something that they say is coming up in the game. When you die, you will become a zombie and to get your mm. items back, you're going to have to kill your own zombie fired self. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Don't sound so down. That's <laughs> exciting. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> zombie time. Right, oh, here's a pro cool. tip too. If you've got a um a weapon, um, even if it's something basic like a 22 pistol, um, which is generally low damage, aim always down the site when you're shooting at a zombie because you'll um, increase the damage. But that's how it's uh, currently happening at the moment. And always aim at the head. Because... Yeah, it can be one kid, one hit kill for like anything if you aim for the head, yeah. basically. Like, even with melee weapons, if you're attacking them, like, at the legs or the chest or whatever, it's going to take you more hits in general to pull off than just whacking them constantly in the head. Like, this baseball bat, I think, is a two or three hit kill in the head, but it's much more if you go for it in the chest. Nadinator. Yes. we got so much wood right now. <laughs> Look at my wood. You can take your wood and take it back to fucky town. Fuck you and your wood. Alright. So, oh, zombie. Um, I didn't think there was really anything here, was there? I don't know. Is there anything upstairs? I um, mean, this ladder isn't working. Oh, there we go. You can uh, actually sprint up ladders. Like, you can hold down the shift and you go faster. Actually, there was a bit of food up here. Uh, corn and lettuce. Interestingly enough. And a sniper. Yeah. These foods are perishable. Um, that means that, well, you obviously know, but if you don't eat them straight away, then after a while they're going to rot and you won't be able to eat them. Or maybe will, and it'll just not fill up as much. Canned foods are a lot better to carry around because they never run out of, um, like, they never rot. And also, they just generally fill up your bar a lot more something that I haven't spoken about yet. Oh, this looks like a very nice construction here. Oh, yeah. You move weed around. Oh, no, no I mean, that's not weed. It was shaped like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a penis. So what you can do is you can uh, drag things around. Like, we haven't really given a good explanation of that, but something which really enticed me to get this game is that once you've gone into a house, you can, say, drag a chair, say this bale of hay is a chair you can drag that chair and put it in front of the door and block the door which is freaking sweet and then that can go along with the freeform barricading which is even more sweet that's like double the sweet shit so this is what I like doing you can grab a lounge sofa whatever you want to call it drag it over and 
plop it down right in front of the door. And now opening the door is going to be a bit harder for zombies and people alike. So let's leave that there. What's this? Do you know what it is? Backpack. Ah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Keep perfect. Looking. Something that's really important in this game, other than getting the gear, is getting a good backpack because I've just tripled my inventory size, which means I can just carry around more food, more weapons, more everything, which is absolutely essential. Oh, zombie. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, shit. You scared the fuck out of me, man. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting him. I think there's someone upstairs. Yeah, uh, I heard knocking. Hello? Yeah, this game can be fucking terrifying sometimes, especially at night. And that'll come in another video. Oh, shit! Whoa, Jeez. what? You, ju <laughs> you startled me. Calm down, buddy. Oh, you and your green eyes, just... It's too much. Oh. Is that what I think it is, Damon? Is it? What is it? Over yonder. I believe that is a prison. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, but look through my oh, scope. You sniper. Oh yeah, that's definitely a prison. Oh fuck. Let's fucking go over there right away. All right. I've never oh, actually been legs. inside a prison before. So this is going to be a first experience for everybody. Yeah. I've heard that there are unbreakable doors in the prison, so. That might even be an awesome place to, you know, hole up for your survival days. Oh yeah, definitely. Be a shame though if there's not a village nearby, but is there good resources in there? Like, oh, I'm not sure. There uh, probably are good drops, like you'd expect that kind of thing. Well, being a prisoner and whatnot, yeah. And there's make just... sure that zombie for you. <laughs> oh, I missed. Yep, W. <laughs> Missed again. It's alright, I'll give him warning shots. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> he didn't take the warning. Now he did. So there's a lot of zombies following you. Um We There's at yeah, least yeah. I see that. I'm just yeah. gonna turn away from that and pretend I never saw it. <laughs> what have we got? We've got double layered wired fencing and we've gotta find a way in. So let's make our way around it then. This is really interesting. Let's do it. I thought that those towers were rounded, but they're square. Whoops. Slide oh down man, I'm so far behind you, it's not funny. That's okay. Oh, it's all right for you. I'm running amongst your horde. There is <laughs> almost a hundred now, because they're just coming from fucking Everywhere. yonder. Yeah. It's just a horde of Justin Timberlakes. Can we creep in here? Oh boy, we'd be lucky if we could creep in here. We can this creep in here. Works. Excellent. Wait. <laughs> this is pretty well designed for a prison. If you crouch down there, yep. It's it's really good design oh. for a prison, isn't it? Yeah. All I like right. it. It's just um, like in um, Walking Dead, actually. <laughs> they have a um, fence like this where it's a two panel fence. Yeah. Well, it's the same in the Blues Brothers. In the scene where he's same goes. in America. 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 Because America, fuck yeah. That's how it you is. filming? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I think I found the entrance. This looks like, um... This looks like it. Yep, we're here. Alright, well this is really exciting. I'm, I'm fucking pumped. I'm, I'm turned on by this experience. What say you? Alright, bone, eh? I'm gonna check out the guard tower if you'd like to join me. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, can we close these doors? No. Ah, uh, I tried that, I got no idea though. Yeah, we're gonna probably die. Well, this guard tower was, um... Empty. Amazing. No, no, there's an- OH FUCKING <laughs> CHRIST! <laughs> All fucking mighty. <laughs> How the one. fuck did you get up here, you big piece of shit? W. Yeah. All that for a freaking apple, man. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy be a bloody this delicious apple. apple. Yes. My guy's nomming that shit right down. Well, if you find some ammo, don't um, don't hesitate to uh, pass it along. I will not. 
worry about any of that shit. Oh shit. I'm going to town on these guys. I'm half infected. Yeah, you might want to um, stop shooting, mate. You've gathered a right big crowd of cunts out there. Why? All right. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go investigate this prison. I'm interested to see what it's like. Let's yeah. check the left wing. Sure. That's fucking terrifying. Because if we want to leave, um, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna stay here for the rest Welcome of home. our lives. Well. Oh, lovely reception. Yeah, there's just roots in the ground. Get close I, these doors. I can hear banging. Ah, there's the source of the fucking banging. Excellent. Alright, let's check out, um, more. This is like a dining hall. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, you're doing all the work clearing out the zombies. You're just going on to it. Oh, zombie. Yeah. Well, you got a gun. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of hot food. Well, not hot. It's cold food, but it's hot because it's sick. Well, I found a pair. You jealous? Actually, I am. I don't. No. Hey, look. It was expired, right? And I could still eat it. But it only gave me one bar of health. Oh, uh, food. Oh, well, we can shoot some hoops out here, come on. Yeah. Freaking... Are you gonna try and block? Oh, shit. Where was this game? Alright, I'm gonna shoot for freaking three pointers. Oh, 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 fuck! <laughs> I just dropped mine on my feet. Yeah. Holy shit. I've got some arm on me. Alright. Bring a ball inside. You should have some fun. I got take my ball. all you want. Eat all you take. Cafeteria rules. No standing on chairs or tables. No throwing food. No yelling. No running. No fighting. Alright. Alright. Let's let's explore more of this. Ooh, I'm sick, man. My guy's sick. Let's check out. Is this a cell here? This oh, okay. is indeed a row of cells. I've got a feeling these are the doors that can't be broken. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Be a good time to explain about uh, infections. Yeah. Well, with the infection, you've got a meter, which is along the bottom here. I'm kind of already half infected. Uh, if you get, <laughs> if you get bit yeah. constantly, uh, then you're going to have your infection meter built up, and then you're going to eventually turn into a zombie yourself. In which case, that's the end of the game for you. you lose. But um, when they whack you and such, it goes up a lot less than them biting you. An infection will lead to death um, at the moment, so it's just happened to me. Now I'm outside with the hundreds of zombies. <laughs> I'll catch up with you. I have no idea how to get out of here. Oh fuck, I've got to run out of You, you, uh, hey. Hey, oh, oh yeah, I don't want you fucking- Holy fuck! How the fuck did you just do that? So as you can see, my bars just gone up a little bit. But that's because he didn't bite me. And you'll know when they bite you by the markings on the screen. But, you know, you may have already seen it, I'm not sure. Let's get the hell out of here. Damn death traps, yes, yes. I made sure the front gates, man. Right. At least I think they might be the front gates, I'm not sure. Uh, no, I'm I, lost. I don't think they are. I see where you are, though. I see your name tag. Oh. I'll come out and meet you. Okay. Alright, well, this I brought a lot of friends. Game. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97
Whoa. Nice time. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be back with more. So I hope that you will stay tuned for the next bit of shit that we upload together. Ta-ta for now.